Alright guys, welcome back to the Anonymous Miner channel. Today we are going to go over several different th versions of the 3060. So I have a EVGA dual fan 3060 here. It's kind of funny. This is in the smallest box of all of them. Right? And yet it is not the smallest card. So we also have here the Asus single fan card and it's actually very thick look how thick this cooler is compared to this EVGA cooler right I mean that is a serious difference right there and you can tell I mean it is just a chonky chonky thing and then check out the difference in length actually so if I were to compare the lengths look at the difference at the end here it's really it's about what like an inch about an inch it's just my, my first knuckle that's the difference in length. So it's kind of funny. And then uh, comparing them height wise, the single fan is actually taller as well. So, although this is a single fan card, the fan is much larger, as you can see. And it seems to do pretty good, but we'll get into that in a little bit. The last card that we have for review is the Zotac. So we have a Zotac dual fan 3060 as well. And between these three cards, uh, I actually have quite a few models of the 3060 now. I also have an MSI Gaming Trio. I have a MSI Ventus Dual Fan Card. And I also have an MSI Gaming Overclock Card. So, I actually have quite a few models of the 3060 now. But without further ado, or today we're going to go over these three models. And at the end, I will talk about which is my favorite of all of my 3060s. So, uh, we're going to pull a panda trick. Wait, one more thing. Let's do that. All right. And there we go. Okay. Now, this. Uh, let's start with the single fan. Because I know everybody's a big fan of that one. They want to see what's going to happen with this one on Raven Coin. So, in three, two, one... All right, so there we go. We have the single fan 3060 installed in the test bench, and this is an LGA 1151, uh, four core processor, eight threads. I don't remember the exact model of it, and it also has an 850 watt RGB power supply. It's from Game Max, and it is a Z170A Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard. Uh, the RAM is actually 32 gigabytes of, I believe it is 2600 speed? Don't quote me on the speed. But it's got enough RAM in there too. And then we actually have the HDMI cable back here going into the pass-through. So now I am going to continue the video here on this card on the desktop. So let's get on over there. Alright, so I got that Asus Single Fan 3060 installed, and we go in ahead and set up my core clocks. Let me pull that up for you real quick. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the bat file that we're going to be using to test all of these 3060s. And you can see right here I have the core clock locked at 1450, the memory clock at 1100, and the fan at 75. So I primarily mine Ravencoin. If you guys would like to see something else tested on these, let me know and I will run them through the tests. But mainly I just mine uh, Ravencoin with 3060s. So that is the 22 minute test I believe. It's 23 minutes now. So we're into it 23 minutes right there. 23 minutes and 18 seconds, we've gotten 60 shares, we're at 22.12 mega hash, and after 22 minutes, 23 minutes of mining, we are at 56 degrees Celsius on the GPU core temperature. This 3060 does not have a memory temperature, unfortunately, even in hardware info, it does not show a memory temperature, so that kind of sucks, but it is also pulling 126 watts on the single fan, and the fan percentage is 75%. And that's pretty good, considering it's a single fan card at 56 degrees Celsius. My ambient temperature is 80 degrees right now, well, uh, Fahrenheit. Um, I'm not really sure what that is in Celsius. On the next card, I'll mention it. I'll look it up between now and then, and look up uh, what the Celsius measurement is. But 
basically we're running at 56C, which is pretty good considering. I thought this single fan card was going to run a lot hotter than that. But there you go, 22 mega hash and 56C at 126 watts. So let's move on to the Zotac card. All right. Alright, so here we are, we're back again. We have the Zotec NVIDIA RTX 3060 installed now in the test bench computer. And we are running T-Rex Miner again with the same exact settings as we previously had on that Asus Single Fan 3060. And this GPU is actually running hotter. So it is pulling more mega hash, it's pulling a little bit more wattage with the same exact settings, the same core clock, the same... Uh, memory clocks, everything. So it really shouldn't be pulling more power necessarily, but it is. Um, so there's that. All right, we are back. We're about 30 minutes into the test on the EVGA NVIDIA RTX 3060. We again have the same clock set at uh, 1450 core clock lock in T-Rex Miner. And we have it set at uh, plus 1100 on the memory, 75% fan. And the EVGA card is running at about 57C. The ambient temperature in the room is still about 80 degrees or 27 degrees Celsius. And it's pulling about 128 watts. So this is actually so far the best card, I believe. Um, this EVGA card is also one of the heavier cards in comparison to the Zotac card and that Asus Phoenix single fan card. The EVGA dual fan is much heavier, so I would assume it has more copper, more, um, it's just, just a heftier card. So, it's got a lot more overall, too. out of these three cards, I'd have to say that the, uh, EVGA card is probably my favorite. Uh, I do have a couple other cards. I've got a... MSI gaming overclock and some MSI dual fan 3060s. Uh, out of all of the 3060s I own, I would have to say that that EVGA card is again probably my favorite. I mean, it is. It's really heavy. Um, right behind that would be probably the Asus single fan or the MSI gaming overclock. One of those two. Uh, I can't really definitively say one or the other, but they're like right in line with each other. Uh, after that would be the MSI Ventus dual fans, and then at the bottom of the line is that Zotac card. I mean, the, the Zotac card just barely weighs anything, and it seems to run the hottest, and it really is not very efficient. So, overall, I'd say the EVGA card is my favorite, but thanks for tuning in today, guys. If you could uh, like, comment, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.